Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got a Planet Side 2 video here for you. As some of you were requesting of me to make a Planet Side 2 video. Now I've used Planet Side 2 footage before in a different video, but I never really made a proper video out of it. So here we are, and the topic for this well video will of course be my to-go class. Because I tend to play Planet Side in a fashion where I just log in, kill a few people, capture a few bases. And, you know, log out again. And this is quite literally what you are saying. You saw me dropping in. And it was the point that I logged into the game for the first time this year. Yes, it's of course also the new year. So, happy new year before I forget that. And I hope that this year will be even better than the next. As I certainly will hope for me. But, you know, time will tell. Now, my to-go class in Planet Side 2 is of course the Medic. And I like to fight with the Medic. It's quite literally a combat Medic. And... At the end of it, you will actually see me finding an issue with the medic class, which as an engineer you probably should not have, but as an engineer you won't be able to have the ability to heal yourself. It's also a very comedic fight between me and one specific Vanu dude, and we are con- Well, you know what, I'm not even gonna spoil it, just watch the end of the video and you will definitely know when it's about to happen. It just- it's silly, just trust me on that one, but the reason why I like- the medic so much is because of the sustainability. One of the many things that you will definitely figure out relatively soon if you're gonna play Planet Side 2 is that dying is a part of life. It's a part of this game. You will spend a lot of time dying. But luckily enough, the respawn timer is really not that bad, even with so many deaths. But even so, dying is inconvenient and medic kinda, you know, extends your life. Due to the fact that you can only well, you cannot only heal yourself as well as other people. Well, that was a horrible English sentence. Let me restart that. You can not only heal other people, but also yourself with a AoE heal that you have, which is your special ability, which you can upgrade to make more powerful, etc., etc. And because of that, you can heal yourself, as I am doing right now. My healing ability is very low right now because I've been trying to heal myself and sustain myself as well as my team members here. And you do get a lot of search for that as well. And search are, of course, the currency that you need to buy new stuff and upgrade stuff. Which is kind of awesome. So, not only am I having the best time of my life. Or, the well, the potentially the best time of my life in Planet Side 2. With my favorite class. I'm also helping the team around me with little to no effort. Which is kind of amazing. Because everybody knows that Planet Side 2 is pretty much a team game. And it seems a bit silly for me to say this. Considering the fact that I'm going full lone wolf on it right now, which is kind of unfortunate. I lost my um, my outfit because they all became ineffe oh, ineffective. Because they were inactive, of course you're going to be ineffective if you're going to be inactive. But they kind of just, you know, went off to other games. So I kind of left my outfit and I'm just constantly doing lone wolf stuff now. Which seems kind of stupid and it really is because I'm constantly getting overrun. As I'm trying to be the hero and sometimes it works out as well as you will see right here. I am pretty much being a hero right now. Just doing a lot of stuff on my own. Getting a lot of kills. Helping my team members out as well as I can. With my uh, ability to heal them as well as myself. But it is of course a game about logistics and such. And where the most people are that faction will definitely win. But there's also different classes that I really enjoy to play as. For example, like the Light Assault, if I'm just messing around or if I'm trying to assault a tech plant, for example. It's really easy to get in positions where other classes are not able to get as easy as a Light Assault. Because of the jetpack, of course, and you can just, you know, hammer everybody down or hammer, shoot everybody down. Of course, if there are more tanks involved, I'd rather go heavy. And if there, well, are more airplanes or aircraft involved, I like to take out my mech suit and just have double uh, anti-air guns going and just, you know, tear them from the skies. And, as you can see, I am actually using my shotgun as well. And there is some solid logic behind that. If I'm playing a medic, my main goal is to heal people and to rest them. Which means, I should probably either be behind enemy lines, or I should be relatively close to people because of my AoE heal, right? So, in that in mind, and also my preference for close quarters, I kind of figured that the shotgun would be the most powerful weapon to go with. As also at the beginning of this game, TR was a little bit, well, not as powerful as other long range guns available for other factions. So I took my strength from close quarter combat. And as you can see, it's still super effective. That is my 
favorite shotgun as well, it's the Haymaker. And I do have night vision on, which is a bit silly. But I found it I found out that night vision was really helping me out with spotting infiltrators if I had problems finding them. If I knew they were there, so that was kind of my goal with that night vision. Even against um, the heat vision, I think that night vision worked better for me. Because I always shoot from the hip with my shotgun, because it's a shotgun. You're not gonna, you know, go off and try to get headshots from across the map. It's a shotgun, you're gonna fire from close range, so shooting from the hip is always gonna be super effective, as you will see definitely here. And because I am never really aiming with my shotgun, it allows me to wear the night vision or to use the night vision upgrade instead of another upgrade that allows me to, you know, aim better because I'm never really aiming with the shotgun. So that explains that logic. But looking at the bottom of my screen, I only have one shotgun shot left. In fact, I don't have anything left right now, which means the comedic battle that I was talking about at the beginning of this game is about to ensue. First I started to switch to my secondary and I never really liked my secondary to begin with. I, it didn't really felt powerful but by the looks of it that was basically because I was aiming wrong. Because you can see I am tearing these people apart with my secondary as long as I can aim. And because of the battle that I'm having right now mainly in mid air <laughs> I can't really hit him. Which means I am wasting my ammo as well. And talking about the ammo that's kind of the issue that I have with my medic. It's that I can't you know... Um, get new ammo basically as an engineer you can drop down these ammo boxes that will replenish your ammo as a medic you can't I am able to sustain myself for a very long time and because I'm alive for such a long time I usually play on my own for a little bit I don't really have Sunder as a route me so I can't replenish there nor am I an engineer so I can't replenish myself so what usually ends up happening and what usually ends up getting me killed is the fact that I'm so out of ammo that I can't defend myself. And if you have to run to somebody and to, yeah, well, to poke him with your knife, it's usually game over right there. So anyway, that's about it for me. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content and let me know what your two go class is if you actually play this game. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.